to go now fellas here we go got a roll on the dark beers at the moment to shoots obsidian stout well this one's uh, up a little bit again the last one was six percent now up to 6.4 we've got a 55 ibu count which is fantastic notes of espresso and dark chocolate with roasty finish bottle conditioned for quality so this will get better in the bottle it's one of those beers that just keep getting better now they reckon it's best before the eighth month of this year which is cruising up pretty close so this will probably taste better than this when it was fresh being bottle condition they change the flavor and and uh, complexity the longer they're in the bottle up to the use by date which is as I find with American beers probably a little bit too short for what they are if they're a dark beer like this they should have a really long especially bottle conditioned a long use by date I think they're fucking it up in America um, but I'm not minding because that's when people start selling them for a cheap price when they're left with shitloads, they haven't sold many, and they're up to the use by date. All of a sudden, you get the perfect beer. Now, this should be really deluxe and developed by now. Cheers. Wow. That's another well-balanced out. Hints. Oh, yeah, there's a lot more chocolate in this one. Hints of espresso, like they mentioned, but um, only hints. It's more chalky, malty. Mm. I reckon they're a good brewery to shoot. They make some great beers too. Next time we go back to the States, I'm going to have to go to a few more breweries. Last time I went to one in Hawaii, but that was it. Uh... And looks like they're better than uh, the Hawaiian ones over in the States. These guys have been around for years. They're making really good beers. So you see this around, fellas. Get onto this. They're from Oregon. And I went through Oregon. Now, Oregon's a beautiful uh, state to go and visit. So I might find myself back there one day. Got an invite to go back to uh, Canada. Graham said we can come and stay anytime. You can stay here too, anytime. He's got um, a house on the lake, if I remember. So that wouldn't be bad. Pick the right month. Do a brewery tour around America. It'd be nice to do it on a Harley or something. I don't think the missus will go for that. But anyway, I wouldn't mind doing it. All right. Route 66. Like, I've travelled... Um, quite a few holidays in the states right down the west coast uh, all around well Phoenix up through to Arizona yeah um, yeah I'll, I don't mind driving in the states it's not that difficult compared to here it's pretty much the same you're just on the other side of the road it takes you about 10 minutes to get used to it and away you go all right Good luck everyone, get over to America and check out some of these grouse breweries. I think I've mentioned them, Sierra Nevada is one of them, Deschutes, that's another. There's quite a few. I won't go silly trying to mention all the beauties now, but yeah, I reckon America's come of age. Their beers used to taste like water, bud water. You know, the, the nickname sort of the American beers had during the Second World War. The Australians sort of hanging shit on their beer with no flavour. But uh, I tell you what, certainly turned around now. These beers have got shitloads of flavour. Lovely. Cheers.